Hello and a very warm welcome to the Horror News Paper Analysis for 3rd of April which is brought to you by Law Seco. Now as far as the agenda for today is concerned, we are going to have a look at some of the important national and international news updates. This is going to be followed by a legal news update and at the very end we have an editorial to discuss by the title of Karnataka's New Quota Regime. This is an Indian Express editorial. With this, let's start with the TNF for today. The first update is in the segment of personalities. So recently, that's on Wednesday, the Asian Arab Chamber of Commerce, it welcomed the appointment of Sunil Veena from Karnataka into the global Arab network by a consensus of the member countries. He was presented with the certificate of appointment on the eve of UN Happiness Day in New Delhi that also saw the presence of various diplomats, CEOs, industrialists from across the country. He was appointed by the chairman of the head office based in Doha, Qatar, with a strong presence in India. So before we proceed to the next update, there's a question that I have and I would encourage all of you and also request you to put down your answers in the comment section. When is uh, the happiness day celebrated? Now with this, let's proceed to the next update. So the finance or the commercial capital of India, which is Mumbai, it has been included in the World Tree City 2022 list and this was stated by a BMC official on Thursday. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, which is FAO, and the Arbor Day Foundation, it conduct the TCW program and in the past 50 years, uh, the ADF has planted more than 35 crore trees worldwide and it targets uh, to plant 50 crore more trees by the year 2027. Now, the next update is coming from uh, the inf uh, the segment of infrastructure development in sports. So recently, uh, Vedanta's Hindustan Zinc Limited has signed an MOU with the Rajasthan Cricket Association to build the world's third, world's second largest, uh, India's second largest cricket stadium in Jaipur. This particular project involves an investment of rupees 300 crore, making it one of the largest corporate investments in India's sports infrastructure. The stadium will be named the Anil Agarwal International Cricket Stadium, Jaipur. Anil Agarwal is uh, the, the chairperson of the Vedanta Group and therefore the name of this particular stadium is going to be named after him. Anil Agarwal International Cricket Stadium, it will host both national and international matches, including games of the Indian Premier League. The stadium and its facilities are expected to contribute significantly to the development of Rajasthan as a major hub for cricket and other sports as well. Now this update is with respect to the launch of the new India literacy policy by the government. So the government has introduced a new program called the new India literacy program, which is a centrally sponsored scheme that will be implemented in five for five years from the financial year the 2022 to 2023 to 26 to 27. The scheme has a financial outlay of uh, rupees 1037 crore with the central government contributing a substantial chunk of it while the other contribution is going to come from the other state governments. The primary objective of this program is to provide literacy to 5 crore individuals in the group of 15 years and above who are currently unable to read or write. This particular scheme or program, it was uh, launched to address the aspects of adult education aligning with the national education policy. Now with this we've uh, come to the international segment for today. So the second G20 Sherpa meet under India's G20 presidency was conducted recently. The second meet it was uh, done in uh, the in a district in Kerala and it was done from uh, it was conducted from 30th of March to 2nd of April, which was yesterday. It was concluded over 120 delegates from G20 members, nine invitee countries and the various international and regional organizations were welcomed in this particular meeting. The proceedings were inaugurated by the Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs on 31st of March, welcoming the Sherpas to Kerala. He said that the India's presidency theme was one earth one family one future it was found it uh, this particular theme it has found resonance across the world because of its all encompassing inclusive message capturing the diverse global challenges of the day he also appreciated the support extended by all g20 countries the guest countries and international organizations to the indian presidency 
for the successful conclusion of the G20 meetings so far in 27 different cities across the country and these meetings were uh, 46 in number. So with this, we've come to the legal update segment for today, which the first and the only update that we have for today is from the Honorable Apex Court, wherein the Supreme Court has held that suggestion made by defense counsel to witness in cross-examination if incriminating binds the accused. So recently, Supreme Court has held that if a suggestion to defense counsel kisi witness ko karte hain cross examination ke dauran to it uh, if it is found to be incriminating it is going to bound the accused and the accused cannot get away stating that his counsel had no implied authority to make suggestions in the nature of admissions against his client the name of this particular case is balu sudam khalde and another versus the state of maharashtra i have another question uh, which section of the indian evidence act provides for the three types of examinations that are carried out in our criminal jurisprudence kindly put down your answers in the comment section and lastly we have the editorial segment pending for today so the title of this particular editorial is karnataka's new quota regime essentially uh, is particular editorial may do recent uh, development to in the state of karnataka with respect to change in their reservation portfolio uske regarding baat kari gai hai to hum is pure editorial ko kuch paanch che heads mein discuss karenge pehle to we are going to briefly have an understanding of why of this article ki is pure article ka mudda kya hai and then hum jo abhi existing current structure hai in the state of karnataka reservation ka usko samjhenge and then we are also going to understand uh, the four three particular developments which uh, reservation regime mein hui hai in recent years ek to 2022 october ka uh, development hai jo pehli development hum samjhenge which is with respect to increase in the reservation quotient or the quota of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes to dono ko 2% and 4% respectively se enhance kar diya tha inka wo jo uh, share hai reservation mein we are going to have an understanding of that fir hum baat karenge 24th march ki update ko 24th march ko rihal mein kya hua tha ki jo schedule caste ka quota hai 17% ka wo usme bhi further fir kuch quotas fix kar diye 6% to this community 7% to that community so we are going to have an understanding of that and this is going to be followed by an understanding of the 30th march notification jisme jo muslims ko 4% obc ka reservation diya gaya tha usko scrap kar diya hai and then this is going to be followed by a discussion detailed discussion around why this particular 4% reservation was scrapped and iski shuruaat kaise hui thi and what are the oppositions to this particular change that has been made and at the very end we are going to have a look at the parting note of the author so see as far as the why of this particular article is concerned so the recent BJP uh, government in the state of Karnataka, it has made some significant changes in the norms for reservation in government jobs and education for backward classes and scheduled castes in Karnataka. So essentially, this March ko the government notified a decision taken by the cabinet to scrap the 4% backward classes quota for Muslims. They have been recognized as backward classes officially, as in this 4% unko reservation diya gaya tha. this was given uh, uh, three decades 29 years back now see as far as the three develop the current structure of reservation in the state of Karnataka is concerned so jo OBC ka reservation hai uski further kuch categories hai OBC mein first category hai category one jo ki 4% backward caste ke liye hai aata hai mere paas, uh, there is jo categories ho aisi category number one is backward 4% backward caste then second hai category 2A that was 15% OBCs. Then we have category 2B, which was 4% Muslims, which is currently scrapped. And then we have category 3A, which is 4% Vokaliga, Balija, and other communities. And category number 3, which is B, category 3B, it is 5% Lingayat, Maratha, Christian, and other categories. The scheduled castes have been given 17% reservation, while the scheduled tribes have been given 7% reservation and the uh, economically weaker sections are been given 10 percent reservation and this total brings the total uh, of this is 66 percent jabki humay pata hai ki indira soni ke judgment mein supreme court and your limit fix kari thi that was 50 percent overall jo reservation ki limit it has to be 50 percent so what is uh, the structure currently category a category one four percent backward cast category two a and b though categories category two mein there are two bifurcations a and b so a is 15 percent obcs B is 4% Muslims. 
कैटेगरी नंबर थ्री में ए एंड बी है तो ए इज वो कालीगा बालीजा एंड अदर कम्यूनिटीज इनको फाइव फोर परसेंट दिया गया रिजर्वेशन एंड कैटेगरी थ्री का जो बी है उसमें फाइव परसेंट लिंगायत मराठा क्रिश्चन उनको दिया गया एंड देन वी हैव शेड्यूल कास्ट सेवेंटीन परसेंट शेड्यूल ट्राइव सेवन परसेंट ई डब्ल्यू एस टेन परसेंट दिस इज द करंट एग्जिस्टिंग रिजर्वेशन रिजीम इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका Now let's understand what happened in October of last year. So essentially, on the eve of the Valmiki Jayanti, the birth anniversary of Maharishi Valmiki, on 9th of October, the government accepted the recommendation of Justice Nagmohan Das Committee, set up by the Congress JDS government in the year 2018, to increase scheduled castes and scheduled tribe quotas. So essentially, in October, the scheduled castes and scheduled tribe ke jo quotas hai, wo increase kar diye gaye the. The government scheduled castes and scheduled tribes reservation of seats in educational institutions and appointments, or posts in the services under the state bill of 2022. It raised the scheduled caste quota from 15 to 17 percent. So scheduled caste quota में दो percent की वृद्धि हुई थी. और जो scheduled tribe का जो portion है, it was enhanced from 3 percent to 7 percent. So 4 percent increase was given to the scheduled caste scheduled tribe quota. The government has asked the center. to notify the changes in the ninth schedule of the constitution to prevent the their overturning by the courts since the combined 6% jo schedule caste and schedule tribe ka enhancement hua hai uh, 2% schedule caste ke liye and 4% schedule tribe ke liye jo 6% combined enhancement hua hai it has made the total reservation in karnataka to 56% 56 kaise hua 32% obc ka 30 obc mein fir wo jo sari categories thi category 1 category 2 ab category 3 ka ab so all of these categories including obc ka quota tha 32% schedule caste was 17 schedule tribe was 7% so overall 50% ki ceiling jo limit thi indra soni ki judgment ne jo kari thi it got crossed so therefore jo state government thi usne center government ko bola hai that you include this particular change in the ninth schedule तो नाइन्थ शेड्यूल में क्या होता है जो भी लिस्टेड होते हैं स्टैट्यूट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दे आर सेव फ्रॉम जुडिशियल रिव्यू ऑफ द कोर्ट तो इन ऑर्डर टू सेव दिस पर्टिकुलर चेंज फ्रॉम जुडिशियल रिव्यू ऑफ द कोर्ट एंड फ्रॉम बीइंग हेल्ड इन वैलिड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंदिरा सोनीज केस दिस पर्टिकुलर अपील वॉज मेड बाई द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू द सेंटर ना फाइव एंड हाफ मंथ्स लेटर ऑन इन मार्च ऑफ दिस ईयर इट सेल्फ द कैबिनेट डिसाइडेड टू स्टॉप रिकग्नाइजिंग मुस्लिम एज ए सोशली एंड एजुकेशनली बैकवर्ड क्लासेस ना बिफोर वी गेट इन टू दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अनदर डेवलपमेंट जो कि क्या हुई थी कि जो सेवनटीन परसेंट शेड्यूल कास्ट का जो शेयर था इट वॉज फर्दर बाइफरकेटेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट इन टू सिक्स परसेंट शेड्यूल कास्ट लेफ्ट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट शेड्यूल शेड्यूल कास्ट राइट फोर पॉइंट 5% परसेंट अनटचबल एंड वन परसेंट अदर्स तो सेवनटीन परसेंट को फर्दर बाइफरकेट कर दिया गया है नाउ लेट्स कम टू दी द मुस्लिम इशू सो दिस वॉज डन फाइव मंथ्स लेटर विच इज़ इन मार्च ऑफ दिस योर इट सेल्फ द कैबिनेट डिसाइड टू स्टॉप रिकग्नाइजिंग मुस्लिम्स एज अ सोशली एंड एजुकेशनली बैकवर्ड क्लास एंड डिवाइडेड देर फोर परसेंट ओ बी सी कोटा इक्वली अमंग लिंगायत्स एंड वोका लिगास तो लिंगायत एंड वोका लिगास जो कि कैटेगरी थ्री में जो ओ की कैटेगरी थर्ड थी ए एंड बी रिस्पेक्टिवली उनमें थे फोर परसेंट फॉर वोकालिका एंड फाइव परसेंट फॉर लिंगायत उनको अब दो दो परसेंट और मिल जाएगा जो प्रपोज्ड है उसमें जो मुस्लिम्स का फोर परसेंट था दिस इज गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड इक्वली बिटवीन दीज टू कम्युनिटीज सो दिस इज द कैबिनेट्स डिसीजन नो मुस्लिम्स कैन नाउ क्लेम रिजर्वेशन ओनली अंडर द टेन परसेंट कोटा फॉर द इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन क्रिएटेड बाई दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्ड अमेंडमेंट एक्ट विच केम इन टू फोर्स इन जनवरी ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन ओनली पुअर एज डिफाइंड बाई दी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया मुस्लिम्स आर each prospective poor muslim beneficiary will have now to will have to now compete with the not just poor muslims but also the other poor from the so called upper caste including the jains brahmins vaishyas etc this is not the author of the editorial contents now see uh, the author also says that incidentally the cabinet of uh, the state of karnataka it had initially sought to increase the lingayat and the vokalika quotas by taking 6% from the 10% EWS quota but they drop this idea because jo EWS category mein jo reservations hote hai it is meant only for communities which come from the so which uh, that are not classified as socially backward and because these two communities vokaligas and lingayats they have been demanding that they should be recognized as most backward classes 
and see now let's understand uh, the in depth the why of uh, the, the, as to the history of uh, the four percent reservation which was given to the muslims and also what are some of the objections and why this uh, step of scrapping this four percent reservation by taken by the cabinet so to justify the withdrawal of the obc quota for muslims the bjp has cited a 2010 judgment of the andhra pradesh high court which struck down the reservations for muslims under the obc quota as unconstitutional it is argued the government has argued that uh, there was no empirical data to back the decision of uh, the hw uh, of the government uh, in uh, to include obcs in uh, the category muslims in the category of obcs in the year 1994 so essentially jo 4% reservation diya gaya tha wo diya gaya tha 1994 mein to government ka ye kehna hai abhi jo hali ki jo current government hai unka ye kehna hai ki jo previous government jo 1994 mein thi jab unhone muslims ko obc category mein jo darja diya tha 4% ka to wo there was no empirical data to support that and also unka ye kehna hai government ka that religion cannot be a basis for such type of reservation, bifurcation or uh, endowment of such sort of reservation. Now the opposition has criticized this particular withdrawal of the quota as a cynical move dictated by the BJP's communal politics and as far as experts are concerned they pointed out that a number of commissions appointed by the governments of Karnataka and also the erstwhile Mysore regime, Mysore region, which was the first commission, the Miller Commission 1918, ka, this is uh, followed by the Nagan uh, Gorda Commission, which is uh, of 1961. Then there's another commission of 1975. This is followed by another commission of 1983. And then the Chinappa Reddy Commission of 1990. These Sari commissions ne recommend kiya tha Muslims to be included or classified as a backward community on the basis of their social and educationally backward nature or to the education backward situations so the as far as the experts are concerned unka ye kehna hai ki jitni bhi committees jo ki aur is particular issue pe 1918 se there has been a committee jo ki mysore jo erstwhile mysore region tha uski concerned government ne appoint kari thi to right from 1918 jitne bhi commissions aaye un sab ka ye kehna hai ki Muslims should be classified as backward community on the basis of their social and education backwardness now based on the chinappa ready report the congress government back in 1994 uh, and 95 they classified muslims as category two among obcs and initially unko 6 percent reservation ka quota was recommended but th then it was given four percent so this can also be a question to be looked into uh, to be taken note of a fact rather that uh, which commission on the basis of which commission's report this particular reservation was given in 1994 so that would be chinappa ready report now the current government's decision to change the quota for Muslims, the Vokaligas and the Lingayats, it is based on the interim report of the Backward Classes Commission headed by former MLA Jay Prakash Hegde. While the commission has claimed it uh, to commission has claimed it has not recommended the removal of the OBC category second B quota for Muslim, according to the Chief Minister, the second part of the interim report, which says that the ten percent EWS quota which has been upheld by the Supreme Court it can be used to accommodate new demands from various backward classes for increased reservation the commission is of the view that some backward castes can be given the leftover quota from the EWS quota the uh, chief minister of the state stated now with this the author ends this particular editorial by saying that this is uh, nothing but a political uh, move of the current government because Karnataka is soon going to see its state assembly elections. So with this we've come to the end for uh, today's uh, TNA and in case you want to have access to the free study material and the TNA slides using this particular video please feel free to join our telegram channel using the link which is provided in the description of this particular video or you may scan the barcode given here. These are the point of contacts for you to get in touch with Law Seco. And uh, that's all. And kindly put your answers in the comment section. Thank you for being with us.